All right, here in this video, we will see what is the dashboard while instructor is monitoring an exam look like. And um, this is exam.net after the instructor has logged in, right? So look at this menu on the top. Okay, if you want to create a new exam, okay, that is the one. This is exam list. So the exam that we are currently um, having and then students are working on, suppose it is this one, okay, with this exam key. Okay, and this is the one and we want to monitor. Okay, so we click on this. You can see from these small icons, this first one is the surveillance and results. So click into this one for this exam that we want to monitor. Okay, so here is what's going on during the exam. Um, you can see that from this one, actually there are not many students in this simulation and demonstration. So there are only two students. These are a list of all students taking the exam at the moment. So we have student number one and student number two. And okay, um, you can click into each of these students' name to see what they are doing. And um, you can see that there is also the, the exclamation mark saying that it alerts us something. Okay, so let's look at student one, what is going on. So what happened is that student one is locked out. Okay, because, okay, let's see what happened. The exam lost focus for 100 seconds. And also this is the request that is sent from the student. Student can send a chat and a request for unlock, right? So students say that I accidentally switched to other programs, not on purpose. So if you think that this is um, allowable for students to continue working on the exam, you just click this red panel here, okay? Big, big red button here to unlock. So students will be allowed to continue working on the exam. Okay, how about student number two? So look at this menu again. We still have an alert for student number two. So for this one, you can see what happened. Students say, please unlock me. My internet just went off. Okay, so we can click here to unlock or you can find some other channel of uh, communicating with the student as well in order to verify whether he or she is really having that kind of problem, not because he or she is uh, making some cheating attempt and so on. Okay, so if we think it should be allowed, then we can unlock. And you can see that actually what I'm doing here is that I, I open a web browser, log in in the exam.net using my um, instructor account and then monitoring the exam, right? And also at the same time, I also open this Zoom online meeting while I can monitor all the students who are working on the exam. Remember that we requested, we may request the student to, um, of course, online the Zoom meeting using a front camera. Also take another camera from a mobile phone to monitor or to take um, a video of him or herself from certain angle. Okay, so that we can see them while working. So in this screen, we can see all the students. Suppose there are kind of 10, 20 students working, you can have a grid and you can switch from this dashboard to the Zoom grid as well or make them available side by side like this so that you can see what's going on while students are working on their exam using Zoom camera. And also this dashboard, you can see that it will be refreshed um, time to time to see that whether students are still um, uh, working and not having any cheating attempts or not and nothing is um, happening. Also from each of the student working area here, okay, that you can switch to see their activity. What can happen as well, suppose that I click on this student number one, you can see that this is the status and actions that they are working on, right? They are connecting from this IP address. They are using some of the device uh, using Windows operating system. And also um, these are, I will explain about these icons later. But from here, the menu here on the top of student number one, 
we have status and actions. We also have student answer. So in this case, you can look into the student answer at that time as well. So this is the one of the answer a student is working on. Okay. The same for student number two. If you click on student number two, you can see his or her answer during the time. Okay. He might take some photo of some um, written paper as well. 